let's go through some of the numbers to get a better idea of the impact stomach cancer has on the population. Population. So can you talk to us about what these numbers mean exactly, doctors? So when you look at the uh, new cases in uh, 2018, that's, um, that's the number of, of, of new patients that get diagnosed with stomach cancer that are estimated to get diagnosed with stomach cancer this year. And you see the percentage, we talked about that already, it represents about 1.5% of all cancers. So this, that's what we call incidence. Okay. And then uh, in the bottom part of the graph, uh, of the graphic, we see the estimated deaths. That's what we refer to as the mortality rate. Mm -hmm. Those are the number of people dying from the disease uh, per year, in the case of uh, 2018, you see almost 11,000 uh, um, uh, patients die of uh, stomach cancer, uh, or estimated to die of stomach cancer this that year. That percentage surviving rate, that's what I'm looking at. What does it mean when you see that? So the 31% number mm -hmm. is the percent of patients surviving at five years. So these are the number of, pa if, you, if you look at the number of people in total that have, uh, that have stomach cancer uh, at five years, if you take all comers okay. uh, at five years, about 31% of people will still be alive um, okay. after having been diagnosed with uh, stomach cancer. And that obviously depends on several uh, factors in terms of you know when when they were diagnosed, what stage they were diagnosed, um, and what treatments they were they got, and, and whether the treatments were successful or not. But those are those are general statistical numbers, mm -hmm. which by the way continue to move forward with time right. because we get better and better at treating these uh, at treating these uh, these types of cancers.